been brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Good morning, everybody. This is Deb, literally around Kansas. I'm in the car this morning. I'm actually sitting at a railroad track crossing waiting for the train to go by. So I thought this was a great time to just touch base with you. Um, talk about what we're sharing this week on Around Kansas. And this segment is the second part of our Arc of Light and Shadows. We shared a film clip with you last Wednesday, and today is a little more of the story of Jackie and Lloyd Zimmers attending the premiere in Prague. So I know that you will love this. On March 1st, filmmaker Jan Svatos launched a gala premiere screening of his documentary, the Art of Lights and Shadows, Rebels from Kansas, about filmmakers Martin and Osa Johnson. The premiere was held at the historic Lucerna Palace in Prague, Czech Republic. The Lucerna, completed in 1921, has been the site of many significant events in the country's history and is considered the, the most important private cultural center in Prague. In the 1930s and 40s, the theater showed the Johnson's films. Early in his film school studies, Jan discovered that there were grave misconceptions about the Johnson's life works. He was determined to find a way to share the truth of this amazing couple and their life mission. For that truth, Jan naturally turned to Jackie Zimmer of the Martin and Osa Johnson Safari Museum in Chanute. Jackie and her husband Lloyd, who is an antique and rare book dealer, flew to Prague to attend the event. It was truly amazing to see the film at last, said Jackie. It was an eight-year-long project of passion for Jan. I and the museum supporters in Chanute and Johnson fans everywhere had been lucky enough to follow him on his journey to tell the tale of Kansas husband and wife explorers from almost the beginning. But seeing it realized on the screen was really a remarkable moment. Jackie continued, this was my second visit to the Czech Republic, and once again I was completely impressed with the citizens' interest in history, all history, not just their own. Martin and Osa might have been from Kansas, but from the chorus of excited cheering and applauding their story received at the end of the film premiere, you would have thought they were hometown heroes. There is one amazing film sequence that Jan captured that shows Kansas' ingenuity at its best. Jan had shared an in-the-field photographic technique that Martin employed almost a hundred years ago to game wardens while filming in Africa, and it was immediately adapted as a new tool for them to use in protecting wildlife from poachers today. Jan also interviewed the renowned Dr. Jane Goodall, and her take on the Johnson's work at last lends credulity to their vision. Jackie added, I think Martin and Osa would be so pleased to have their work used in such a contemporary manner to save the wilds of their beloved Africa. This gala premiere was a non-public event held for all sponsors, donors, support crews, and volunteer entities that have helped Jan keep this an independent film in the steed of the Johnson's own documentaries. Public showings in over 30 Czech theaters have been held since the gala premiere, and festival competitions are being scheduled now with global access to follow. Kudos to all involved. We are so proud of Jackie for keeping the Johnson story alive and sharing the resources of this wonderful Kansas museum and the legacy of two amazing Kansans. Well, till we meet next time, I'm Frank, and I'll see you along with Deb somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Egg Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at eggpromosource.com. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part.